Hi there and welcome to this video. In today's video, I'll show you the whole installation and activation process of my newly released DV Chal theme called Multi. It's a multi-purpose business theme with unique design and some great functionalities that you are gonna love. So, you can check out uh, this Chal theme from the first link in the description of this video and uh, then you can purchase it uh, by clicking on any of these licenses a regular license and extended license you can view more information about these licenses by clicking on this link it will show this pop-up so choose a license and then click on this buy now button and it will ask you to check out right now and on the checkout page you can apply a coupon by uh, going to the very bottom of the website open up this coupon in a new tab and then uh, copy this coupon right over here simply copy it and then you can paste it right over here and it's gonna give you a 15% discount like that so then you can simply purchase the child team and uh, once you have purchased it you can download it from your account right over here I have already done the purchase so I can simply download it from here so just click on this download button and it will be downloaded to your computer it's only 2.5 MBs. Okay, so the child team has been downloaded into our computer. So I got this zip file right over here. I'll just extract it over here and it's gonna give this this folder. So here are the three files and this is the team file and these are the icons and this is the team builder templates JSON file. So we need to first install this child team onto our WordPress website. So let's go to our WordPress dashboard and this is a fresh installation of WordPress. So let's go to appearance and then themes and make sure that you have purchased a DB theme. If you haven't, you can buy it from my affiliate link in the description. So let's just install this child theme by uploading it right over here. Let's drag and drop this multi.zip file right over here and then click on install now and then click on activate to activate the child theme and once the child theme is active it's gonna show you this notice right over here to install this required plugin let's click on this begin installing plugin and then click on install to install this plugin and it's gonna activate the plugin as well so once it's done click on this return to dashboard and then go to appearance click on this import demo data link and then click on this import demo data button to import all the demo data that came with the child team so let's do this and it's gonna take some time so we'll just wait all right so the demo content has been imported successfully as you can see that's it all done now it's time to import the team builder templates so for that we'll go to Divi team builder and from here click on this portability icon and then click on import tab and then here we need to drag and drop this theme builder json file so like that and make sure that import presets is checked and then click on this import button to import it so it's done and uh, click on the save changes button to save the changes then go to dv theme options and uh, add your logo right over here so let's choose a logo my team's logo right over here and then click on set as logo and then save the changes and there are some more changes that we need to make so let's do this okay so go to the settings and then permalinks and then make sure that permalink type is post name and then save changes and then go to appearance menus then select menu from the drop down and then make sure that it's set as primary menu then save the menu all right so let's go and visit the site so here we go so there's one little thing that we need to set up is and that is this button right over here as you can see that doesn't look like in our demo so let's fix it by enabling the visual builder now open up this button module setting now click on this preset link and then make sure that main gradient button is uh, your default preset then uh, yes and there we go now all the button have on your own website and will have this preset look at that 
all the buttons are like that so yep it was that easy now make sure you save and then exit, exit the visual builder and uh, yep that's it that's how easy it is to import the demo content like that it it looks really cool this drop down menu and some more functionalities so if you open this elements page it's gonna show you all the special elements designs that I did so these are just mind-blowing and I have separated them for you so you can use them in future if you need them so and some more DV default modules right over here and uh, yeah that's it for today's video I hope you guys have enjoyed it so let me know what you think about my new child team multi and the multi word is from multi-purpose so that's it for today's video make sure you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up and i'll meet you guys in my next video children have a great day peace out